Hey there everybody. Today we have a knife unboxing. This is the Martini and this is a knife made in Finland. So we're gonna see what this one is. Okay it says Martini knives have been made in Finland since 1928. So they've been around for a while. Let's get this knife open and see what we got. Okay, here it is out of the box. The first thing I notice is the black leather sheath. And it says, since 1928, Martini, Finland. It's got two silver chrome rivets there. It's got a big belt loop. This knife is really lightweight. It's got some nice stitching on it there. And these are a lot like Mora knives. So let's get it out of the sheath here and take a look at it. Okay, here it is out of its sheath. Looks like it has a Scandi grind on it. Has a little bit of a swoop, like right here, up at the very tip. Comes to a very sharp needle, sharp point on there. It's kind of a satin finish, almost mirrored finish on the blade there. You can see it a little bit. It has a rubber handle grip. It's got like uh, checkers stamped into it so this is super grippy you got a great grip with this knife here also it says j martini and then it says martini finland it's got a little bit of a where the butt cap would be kind of a little swoop there so your pinky catches on it gives you some extra grip then it's got a finger choil up here to protect your finger from sliding onto the blade uh, this silver on this is actually plastic right here, uh, the choil. It's got a little bit of texture on it, so you can put your thumb on it, but this is plastic. Uh, the It has a super sharp 90 degree spine, so you're going to be able to strike a ferrule rod with this very easy. It says J. Martini Finland right on the blade. And I don't really see a secondary bevel on this. I think it's a true Scandi grind. I could be wrong, but I, I'm, if it is a secondary bevel, it's a very, very tiny one. Looks to me like a true Scandi. I'm not sure how far the tang goes into the handle. I'm pretty sure, like Mora knives, that it's probably a partial tang. It's probably not in there super far. But I could be wrong. I like how grippy this knife is. It's 420 stainless steel. And I think it has a four and a quarter inch blade, even though it looks longer. And it has a like a four and three quarter inch handle. So it's nine inches all together. So that's pretty good. Let's see it beside some Mora knives. Okay, this is it beside my Mora 2000 outdoor knife. See what the blade looks like on that. I have reviews of these already. You can see the blade on the Martini is a little bit longer. And I think it's even, it's a little bit thicker. Put them side by side here. You can see that this is actually a thicker, thicker blade. Okay, this is it beside the Mora Garberg. Which is probably, in my opinion, Mora's best knife yet. And it is full tang. This is, this handle is not quite as grippy as this handle. Because this is more of a plastic and this is more of a rubber. But you can see the blade is a just a touch longer on the Martini. 
And as far as thickness goes, the Mora Garberg is just slightly thicker. And of course, the Mora Garberg is made out of a substantially better steel than the Martini 420 is not the greatest steel ever. But it's a good stainless steel, especially for a knife this size. And this here is it beside my Mora. I think this is the Mora Robust, if I remember right. It slips my mind. It's high carbon steel. I got a patina on it. That's why it looks the way it does. That protects it from rust. It doesn't have a very sharp spine on it. The Garberg has an excellent sharp spine. But most Mora knives don't have a sharp spine. You have to sharpen it yourself. But these martinis come with a spine that feels just like a Mora Garberg. So excellent knives. I've always liked my martinis. Let's do a paper cutting test straight out of the box. Okay, here we go. Got a sheet of paper. This is straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to it yet. Whew. Razor sharp. This is as sharp or sharper than most Mora knives arrive. True Scandi. You can't go wrong with this. For an affordable knife, this was under $20. Apparently, I've been on a bit of a of a finish kick this week because I have my Martini of Finland knife here. This is a hunter knife, I believe it's called. And I think it was like $16 on Amazon. So, and I th I got this one on eBay. They're under 20 bucks, and they're definitely worth the money. And then I have my, even though this is Gerber, it's technically made by Fiskers of Finland. I don't know if you can see that on there. It's pretty hard to read. See that? It says Fiskers Finland. And Gerber's just licensed to sell them and put their name on it here in America. So this is my little Finnish set up here and this is the sheath that comes with this and on there maybe you can see it a little better than on the axe i don't know it also says fiskers finland i don't know if that's showing up at all but not a big fan of this sheath by any means well there you have it the martini hunter knife Martini of Finland. Really laser sharp knife. I mean, this thing is like a scalpel. And it's got a sharp 90 degree spine on it. True Scandi. Leather sheath. And it's fairly, I mean, it's not like super thick leather, but this isn't like cheap. This is a really nice made sheath. So for under 20 bucks, it's hard to beat. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.